Welcome to Real Physics. I apologize that I have a little pause on my channel, but I'm thinking a lot about artificial intelligence right now, and there will be a project in this direction. But let me shortly explain why I believe there will be a revolution of artificial intelligence. And I guess most people haven't realized how much is that going to change our entire civilization. Because Basically, we have succeeded in building the human brain and the human brain is the basis of our civilization. And why do I believe this? Because the basic principle of the brain is known for a long time. It's called Hebbian learning. And in a very simplified form, you can imagine it. Just think about two neurons and say one neuron, very simplified is related to the perception of the color green, say of these woods here. And the other neuron fires when the audio signal of the word green is activated. And you have a synapse basically in between these two neurons. And this Hebbian learning rule says that when there is contemporary firing of the two neurons, the synapse in between is reinforced. And as a consequence, when you only listen to the word green, the next time you will automatically have activated also the visual cortex with the perception of the color of green and vice versa. So this is basically how it works. And of course, computers were not developed or too primitive in the 1950s back then. And but now we've got the hardware and we can implement it. And of course, there are lots of other smart little developments, be it the backpropagation algorithm, Goffrey Hinton got the Nobel Prize for, or be it the hop field construction, the, the network of an associative memory, or be it the attention mechanism, all this contributed. But in the end, I mean, a lot of details are still to be figured out. But at the very end, we have managed, I guess, to rebuild the brain. And this is huge. This is going to be a revolution of the entire civilization. It's not sure that humankind will survive it, but I'm sure that it will also change physics profoundly. Maybe we'll have a completely new and better understanding. I think this is very fascinating. Yeah, that's what my mind is busy with at the moment. And of course, the exciting thing is this, how to apply all this to fundamental physics. And well, if you enjoyed this little video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel. I will keep you updated.